Hi, and welcome to a partner series to Herstory on the Rocks podcast, Herstory Top 10, where you will get 10 interesting facts about a woman in history. In this series, we talk about good women, bad women, fictional women, and non-fictional women from all times and places because women have nuance. Today, we are digging deep into Josephine Baker herself, so let's get started. Fact number one, Josephine was the daughter of a poor unwed mother in St. Louis, Missouri. A lot of people think they know who her father is, but neither Josephine or her mother ever chose to disclose his true identity. Two, Josephine was married four times. She met her first husband when she was working at a cocktail lounge. His name was Willie Wells, and they were married when she was just 13 years old. Thankfully, that marriage didn't last too long. Fact three, she dug herself out of poverty by becoming a vaudeville star. She used her natural comedy skills to stand out at the end of the chorus line and became the toast of the Harlem Renaissance. From here, she went on to Paris, becoming one of the highest paid performers of her time. Fact four, she was openly and actively bisexual. She dated many famous women during her lifetime in show business, including Bessie Buchanan, who would go on to be the first African-American woman to have a seat in the New York State Legislature. Fact five, when she moved to Paris to become a true star, she really started expressing her flair for the dramatic on and off stage. She was known for her many exotic pets, but her most famous one was her pet cheetah named Chiquita. Fact six, she became a spy for the French military during World War II. Her star status made it easy for her to get into the right parties to eavesdrop on the right conversations. It also provided her with a convenient cover when transporting important messages and items. She hid gasoline and champagne bottles so her car would not have to be stopped when transporting refugees, and she would write messages in invisible ink on sheet music. Fact seven, after a few negative interactions with racism in the U.S., Josephine refused to perform in the States unless they abided by a few rules. The audience must be segregated, and in some venues, she even demanded that a table of Black audience members needed to be up front in the best seats. The venues complied, and if she found out that they didn't adhere to those rules, she would literally walk off stage. Fact eight, Josephine would end up adopting 12 children whom she would deem her rainbow tribe. She gathered these children from all over the world in an attempt to prove that folks from different races and countries could cohabitate successfully. Which leads us to fact number nine. The stress of 12 children and a massive estate in the south of France became too much and Josephine lost her beloved home, Le Milan. Her and her children were homeless, but a good friend of Josephine's came to her rescue. Grace Kelly, the princess of Monaco, offered Josephine and her children a villa to stay in. Which brings us to fact number 10. Princess Grace paired up with Jackie O, another HOTR alum, to fund an amazing comeback show for Josephine. Tickets were sold out and the crowd was star-studded with people such as Sophia Loren, Mick Jagger, Diana Ross, and Liza Minnelli, all there to see Josephine. The show was a smash hit, but Josephine died just four days later, peacefully in her bed, surrounded by the positive reviews from her show. This has been another episode of Her Story Top 10, providing you with 10 quick, interesting facts about famous women from history. Don't forget to like and subscribe below and leave a comment about who you would like to learn more about. For extended information on Josephine Baker, download our full podcast on her life at Her Story on the Rocks, available on iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher, and Spotify. And don't forget, well-behaved women rarely make history.